Parasite activity seems to be centering on the basin of a dormant volcano. It appears that the basin provides access to a large underground network of caves and tunnels. The only viable way into the volcano basin is through a gap at the base. Some form of gateway that only allows the passage of certain parasite life forms blocks this entrance. Okay, then determine how to get past the gateway. Cleanse the area of parasite life forms. Okay. Oh, look at that. I don't even need to stop recording after a fucking loading screen now. What, did I fix it or something? What the fuck happened? What did I do different? Yeah, this is how it starts. You kind of appear into the existence. Locate and destroy. Wait. No, locate and get past the gateway. Whoops. It's not locate and destroy. Oh, shit. Yeah, we probably don't want to be standing around there too long. Well, I like this environment much better. At least I can see where the fuck I'm going. Hey, where did this guy come from? Oh, the spiders seem to be reacting to fire. At least some of them. They don't seem to like that. They don't seem to like getting fire in their fucking face. Honestly, I wouldn't like that too much either. I mean... It's fucking fire in your face. That shit's gotta fucking hurt. What's over on this side? I've never been on this level, actually. Oh, you get closer to these cunts. Let us assimilate their essence. Now he just blew himself up in there. Shit! Bastards blocked my fucking way. Well, okay. We managed to kill off the bastards. In case we need to come back here for any reason in particular, we won't have to worry about them. I'm kinda interested to see what this place has to offer. I've never been here before. I don't think there's any difference which way we go. No, looks like there isn't. We just get some opposition on, on this side. I do like the little touch of detail that uh, if you burn one of the guardians to death, they actually have their corpses burn. Like, their pieces of meat will actually burn instead of just being normal. That's a nice little touch. Oh, we're just mowing the fucking lawn here with these guys. I like that. I really like that they are maxed out properly. Because I remember back in level 2 at some point in time, I couldn't get past the fucking level 2. Like, it was really fucking difficult. Because I didn't know that I can do this neat little trick. Where I can just, you know, not use up my fucking DNA points right from the get go. Save up some of that shit and get maxed out on a near instantaneous basis. I fucking knew it. Oh, that's that's kind of interesting. I don't know if you notice that, but uh, our friends, when they are controlled by the AI, they can clearly see where the fuck the enemy is going when they turn invisible. Is this some kind of a 
genetic computer trait that I don't have, known as bullshit. Would be nice to have that. I'm sure it could help me beat the game much easier. I see more sticky foot. Uh, I don't want to know what the fuck that is on the wall. Let's just get off the fucking thing. Oh, this is where we appeared the last time. At least we don't have to save these animals anymore. Which is good. It means we can kill everything. Indiscriminately. Don't worry, we'll just bring them back to life. They're masters of genetics. We still have all of their genetic DNA sitting in a little jar waiting to be used. So, no, don't, don't worry, we got this. Doesn't matter that all of these innocent creatures got fucking murdered for the sake of being eaten and assimilated into our core structure. Oh no. We'll put them back to normal. Once this whole operation is complete. What are they shooting? Oh, these guys. I still gotta say, the selection of weapons is just amazing. I mean, why would it be? You're using your very natural powers to do things that no one would ever suspect possible. Like, you're you growing a fucking spore launcher out of your fucking hands. That's fucking awesome. Huh. But now I realize that they're kinda of missing something here. And it's pretty safe to say that we are missing a very uh, vital, crucial component known as the other spore type. How the fuck did we miss it? Where can we find it? Alright, I made a little discovery. I found the green spore plants, but you'll never guess where to look for them. <laughs> Developers sure went out of their way to hide these bastards this time around. Yeah, you remember this place? This is where you go back to find the uh, spore guardians shooting you up from the ledges. It's right at the beginning. This actually is the tunnel that's covered with flammable plants. Ignore this fucking place. Go here. Go through this little cavern. And then you'll be wondering, well, it looks like empty. Like usual. Look up. Son of a bitch. They're right up there. We just need to get them off. Bunch of elusive guns. Who the fuck to look up there? Like the first few times we passed the place. Luckily the area isn't very big. I didn't spend a lot of time actually searching I just consulted my sources to make sure I didn't waste a lot of time because oh uh, well, I never been here before I don't really feel like wasting three hours just to find out that something was on a roof of a cave I have better things to do like you know edit all of that overwhelming grim dawn footage that I got sitting in the storage for no good reason so I could record more. The never ending cycle of record continues. Okay, move all the guys away. Move all the guys away. Put that shit up. Start putting that shit up. And blow it up. Boom. That was a little too close for comfort. It could have been blown up there. No, that looks awfully dangerous. Oh. Oh shit. What the fuck is it doing? 
Huh, interesting. These things launch me across the place. Damn, this throws you fucking high up. Shit's dangerous, yo. Seems like we have to discover the way around this. Some kind of a mysterious puzzle. So it doesn't seem to do much uh, in, in the ways of puzzles, it just throws you all over the place without giving you much control. Oh, oh, hell yeah, managed to get through. I just need to get all the other bastards through. That can prove a bit difficult. Cause you know, the fucking jump decides to just go all over the fucking place. Come on. I'm really not fond of being thrown all over the fucking place like that. Especially when I can't even jump after touching the fucking wall. It doesn't help. Come on. I should have been able to jump there. But no. Apparently that didn't count. I can't seem to control myself in the fucking jump. Which is weird. Okay, now I got this. I suggest just jumping when you're actually gaining control on that fucking little bit. On that ledge. Because then, once you have full control of yourself, and you're jumping, you don't really have much of a chance of fucking up. You know, we got through. And the aliens, the parasites, are not too thrilled about this development. In fact, there seems to be quite a few of them around this place waiting to have a little bite. I don't approve of their appetite for Geno Hunters. In fact, I prefer that they would stick to something more um, less Geno Hunter ish. Oh shit! Yeah, try not to fall into this obvious lava trap. These guys are having a hard time getting around the fact that they're kind of trapped. I just hope that Geno Hunter AI is smart enough to get around the fucking lava. Because I can see very well that our good old friends Necrocytes aren't. We fell into the lava pit just as soon as we came out of the fucking Hangina. I swear to god, the AI is always taking such dangerous leaps of faith. Just like I did. <laughs> Fucking shit! Of course, why don't you all jump in? You dumb bastards. Ugh. Well, I doubt we'll be able to finish the fucking mission now, because two of us are fucking gone. You know what? Fuck you. I'm running through. You can't fucking stop me. Fuck off. I'll make it through. Shit. 
Oh well, whatever. Let's just fall in and see if we can trigger a fucking autosave or something. Maybe not. Much better. This fat bastard never cooperates with me. And I hate that. It makes me very upset. You know, just in case again. Gotta have that shit. What? What's some... What the fuck? <laughs> okay, if you hold down the caps lock button, you can do this. Whatever that's good for. Fine, let's use the necrocytes. They're less volatile. Doesn't seem to be that much more effective though. Oh well. Maybe we just need more energy. Speaking of more energy, how do these charged up necrocytes work? Not much differently than the regular ones, we just shoot out more at the same time, which seem to be pretty good when devouring single targets. So I guess if you want to just get rid of one guy real fucking fast, you use a charged necrocyte attack. Sounds good to me. Sounds like a fair deal.